everybody, I'm Lex from PDQ.com. If you ever wanted to bathe in hand sanitizer after touching an end user's computer or keyboard or their computer at all, you're probably a sysadmin and you want to smash that subscribe button. I'm going to take you through the retry queue in PDQ Deploy. What it is, what it does, when to use it, when not to use it, and some possible alternatives. To get to the retry queue, let's just pull it up here. We'll go to preferences. If you go to deployments right down here, the retry queue. And what that is, let's say I'm deploying 7-Zip out, and we'll actually do this, to a bunch of machines in my network, and one of them's offline, okay? I can set this here globally. I can put all offline targets in a retry queue. I can tell it how many times it should retry. In this case, 72 retries at an hour and in an interval. So that's basically three days. It'll try, you know, on the, every hour you know, after the deployment until it either hits three days or the deployment's successful. It's kind of a brute force method of getting things out there. Now, personally, I don't like to set this globally so that every deployment package does that. I prefer to do it on a package by package, or excuse me, deployment by deployment basis. So let's go do this. So we're gonna go deploy 7-zip, deploy once. We're gonna send 7-zip to Guinness, and we're gonna send it to Groot, okay? Just so you guys know, Groot's offline, so we get to see this. Now, here's where you're going to want to set that in the deployment is under the offline settings right here. Um, use the settings from the, from the package or from the defaults. We're going to go and say, we're going to put this in the retry queue again. We're going to try 72 times on the hour for the next three days to get this deployed. I'm now going to hit deploy. Okay. It's going to go out. Obviously, Guinness is running. It's online. Failed. Could not ping the computer. So if I go look in the retry queue here, check it out, there's Groot. They're gonna retry that 7-zip package. So far it's done zero of 72 tries. It's gonna wait 59 more minutes before it tries again. So I know what you're thinking, like, hey, this could take care of all those offline machines or people coming back in and out of the office. It can, but there's, you know, there's a better way to do it, and that's using inventory and the heartbeat schedule. We've got videos on that. I like that better, it's a little more graceful. This again is brute force and it'll do it. Now, the last thing I want to bring up is things you do not want to do on a retry queue. Uh, reboots. Yeah, I know you're like, reboots? Like, yeah, think about it. Machines offline, it comes online, and then reboots. Kind of defeats the purpose. So anything with a reboot in it, you might want to consider possibly not doing in a retry queue. Those kind of things. But that's basically the retry queue for you. Use it. Try it where you want. Again, the right tool for the right job. Um, thanks for watching. I'm Lex from PDQ.com.